if you want to exist in the spirit 24 hours that's what Paul meant by saying pray without ceasing what does it mean to pray without ceasing brother does it mean to just keep on praying in tongues like that I'll show you now this is a practice that Christians don't engage in I mean calling the name Jesus you take in holy pneuma, holy air. Oh my. <laughs> A friend of mine went to the house of a man of God, a very notable man of God in this country. And when he came, the man of God opened the door to him and accepted him. And he came to him by 11 in the night and said, Let us pray. So my friend began to speak in tongues. The man of God just kept saying, Thank you, Jesus. For four hours, his prayer was what? Thank you, Jesus. The guy spoke in tongues until he became tired. He sat down. Man of God said, Thank you, Jesus. The young man had not yet learned how to breathe in the spirit. He was still gasping for breath. That's why his breath can finish. But a man that knows how to tamper and parley spiritual breathing, such a man will never be empty. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. When last did you spend 30 minutes to call the name of Jesus? 30 minutes. And the more you call it by faith, the more power it brings into your spirit. As if you are breathing. He say, Hide not thy ear away from my breathing. That's why many of us don't know what it means to experience spiritual refreshing. It's not every time you have the opportunity to pray for as many hours as you, you ought to pray. But if you know how to breathe in and out, you will inhale and exhale and you experience a rejuvenation in the spirit. And that no man can say Jesus is Lord. But why? By what? The holy new man. The holy bread. You cannot say Jesus is Lord without touching the Holy Spirit on your inside. You cannot say Jesus without touching the fountain of spirit presence that you are carrying. Are you still with me? He say I was in the dungeon. I was gasping for physical life. I could not find bread to eat. I could not find water to quench my thirst. My physical flesh was filling me. But I knew how to keep my spirit alive. He said, do not hide thy face from my breathing. For though our outward man perish, Paul said, our inward man is renewed day by day. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. You cannot say those words without affecting the deposit of the spirit inside of you. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Uh, you don't know the power of what I'm talking about. As you begin to exercise yourself in it, very soon you see yourself quickened and overtaken by the power of God. And the holy breath goes on your inside. And flesh and several other things you exhale out. If you do that again, it goes on your inside. You exhale. Very soon your spirit is quickened. Your soul is quickened. And your mortal body is quickened by the life of the Holy Spirit. Let me stop there today. Aha. And you know you can be saying thank you Jesus in, in, your, in your heart. Thank you Jesus. I know a man like that, he forged it into his vocabulary. He drives his car, goes to work and comes back. The first thing he says is, thank you Jesus. I think we need to cultivate it religiously. 
until you become part and parcel of your life as much a part of you as your own beating heart when every time you come to the end of the day you say thank you Jesus oh my God you go out and you come back and nothing happened to you you say what thank you Jesus and you receive ventilation on your inside strength is quickened every form of discouragement that came through bad news just it gives way its hold upon your soul breaks because you have taken in holy breath you said what thank you Jesus No, there's no quicker way for you to break into the realms of the spirit than calling that name Jesus. I call you Jesus. I call you Jesus. And suddenly, suddenly the fountain of the great deep breaks up and the windows of heaven open up and God begins to flow out his mighty vessel. You see yourself mounting up, mounting up with wings, mounting up. You cannot tell but you are mounting up.